So earlier this morning, Friday, April 5th, 2024, a magnitude 4.7 earthquake hit the New York City area. And this is unlike anything that I've ever experienced before. I was sitting here working on my laptop, just editing some videos, working from home on this thing. And all of a sudden, what happened was everything started to shake in the apartment. Now, a lot of times on my street, which is over, it, over there, a lot of times they are doing construction and then they end up just, they hit something and then we feel the whole apartment shake just a bit, but just for a couple of seconds, really. It was crazy because what happened was, I remember just being here and then I looked that way and I said, what is going on? And I, it shook for a good, I don't know, it shook for a good maybe 10 seconds almost. It was quite a while. And I remember thinking, well, what should I do? I started to actually get up and walk over there. And I actually had in my mind, I said that might have been an actual earthquake. So about an hour or so after that, I got an emergency alert. 4.7 magnitude earthquake has occurred in the NYC area. Residents are advised to remain indoors and call 911 if injured, obviously. So then what ended up happening was I looked in, you know, what should I do? What should you do during an earthquake? If you're indoors, stay there, get underneath the table, hang on to it, or move into a hallway or against an inside wall. Stay clear of windows. Check it out. I've got two windows over here. I sit basically right in the corner and I've got two windows over here and my light source is actually this window right here. So not the best area for me to be sitting and staying put in an actual earthquake like that. So I'm glad that I actually read this. Get out of the kitchen, which is a dangerous place. Don't run downstairs or rush outside while the building is shaking or while there is danger of falling and hurting yourself or being hit by falling glass or debris. I'm trying to figure out if I forgot how to read or if this is just a run on. Don't run downstairs or rush outside while the building is shaking or while there is danger of falling and hurting yourself or being hit by falling glass or debris. It's just a long sentence, almost like a run on. If you're outside, get into the open, stay away from buildings, power lines. Obviously that's pretty, that's pretty self-explanatory. Driving stop, but carefully move your car as far out of traffic as possible. That'd be pretty tough if we're sitting in New York City driving. Do not stop under a bridge or overpass or under trees, light posts, stay inside your car until the shaking stops. That makes sense. When you resume driving, watch for breaks in the pavement, follow rocks and bumps in the road at bridge approaches. If you're in a mountainous area, if you're upstate New York, watch out for falling rocks, landslides, trees, and other debris that could be loosened by quakes. If you're near the ocean, see these safety rules for NOAA's Tsunami Warning Center. Tsunami is pretty insane, actually. So basically, this is the worst area for me to be sitting in for an earthquake. All right, so staying away from windows, that means that that room is no good, especially if I am standing or if I'm sitting right there, which you can see three windows right there. Not a good place to be. Over here is our bedroom. This is the door to get in and out of the apartment. There is a window right up there. And as you can see, would not be wise to sit in the living room since there are windows over there and would not be wise to go into the kitchen either just because those cabinets could come loose and the fridge made a lot of heavy appliances in the kitchen. So thankfully for me, everything is okay. It really was not very bad. And it was actually kind of cool because I've never experienced something like that in my entire life where the whole apartment just started shaking and it, it was just pretty insane. I hope everyone stayed safe out there. Definitely go ahead and look at, click on those emergency alert thing. I'll see if I can link it below in the description uh, because we may be feeling some aftershocks. And apparently there were a couple of other earthquakes earlier this year, 2024, in the New York City area. So definitely stay safe out there. Hope everyone's okay. I hope that no injuries. Um, thankfully, it was only 4.7. I can only imagine if it was higher than that, if it was like a six or an eight magnitude earthquake. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there in the city or wherever you are.